Chapter 22 Punctuation Symbols or marks that are used to create sense and clarity in the sentences are called punctuation marks. Use of the punctuation marks makes it easy to understand the sentences. These marks make the passage clear, meaningful and comprehensible. Let us study some punctuation marks. Number 1. Full stop. Full stop is the longest pause in a sentence. A. It is used at the end of the sentences. For example, I go to school every day. B. It is used after an abbreviated or short form. For example, she will come back at 6 P dot M dot. 2. Question mark. Question mark is put at the end of a sentence that asks questions. For example, what is your name? 3. Exclamatory mark. A. Exclamatory mark is used at the end of the sentences which expresses feelings. For example, what a cute child. B. It is used after an interjection. For example, Oh God, save me. 4. Capital letters. Capital letters are used in the following cases. A. To begin a sentence. For example, he is an obedient child. B. To begin proper nouns. For example, the name of my friend is Harsha. C. The names of important buildings. For example, the red fort is in New Delhi. D. The names of countries, cities, mountains and rivers. For example, 1. Mount Everest is the highest mountain peak. 2. Chandigarh is a clean city. E. The pronoun I. For example, I like to read books. F. Words used for God. For example, Almighty is present everywhere. 5. Comma. A. Comma is a short pause used to separate words in a list. For example, apple, orange, mangoes and cherries are good for health. B. It is also used to separate the words which we use to address a person. For example, Monica, are you coming? 6. Apostrophe. Apostrophe is used to show possession. For example, my brother's house has been renovated. But if a word ends with S, then we put apostrophe at the end of the word. For example, my parents' house is maintained by a caretaker.